Okay, it's go-kart update time. Um, I haven't done any of these videos in a long time uh, because I've been moving and um, getting married. That takes a lot of work. So guys, uh, if you're planning on getting married, plan on uh, having like no free time for the last couple months before the wedding because there's a lot more planning than you imagine. And here comes some motorcycles because the weather's gorgeous. So there's like a million motorcycles today. But anyway, you see, I went with, I took the front wheels off and we put them on the back because those big ones were just way too big. It was just burning the clutch up and it wouldn't really move. And I got the wheel dirty, but there's a collar here that I welded to the wheel with a set screw that rides in the keyed groove. I'm turn it back, it's right there. I can't get that out for some reason, but it's holding the wheel on, so. Um, now on the front, I got a set of little, just wheels with bearings and tires for I think 11 bucks a piece at Harbor Freight. Uh, they're a little smaller than what was in the back, but they're perfect for this go-kart. Um, the engine's kind of dirty. I need to clean it off. Now, what I had to do with the rear axle is kind of interesting. I had to cut it in half here and get two pillow brackets. I think that might have been my last update. I don't remember because it's been months. But um, that only makes the left-hand tire turn because with two, it was just understeering. Now, the, also the other problem I was having was my chain was coming off. And today, I actually made this little... Uh, tensioner out of an old bike derailleur and just welded a piece of steel on here and bolted it on. It's got a see that blue spring. It's an old clutch spring um, or brake drum spring from my car because um, I had a bunch of spares from a kit and it seems to work pretty well. It's rubbing the clutch and making a bunch of noise but I'll probably take the angle grind into that and grind it down but it's really not hurting anything. The noise it just kind of obnoxious. It did get bent but it holds the chain tight so it's basically serving its purpose. But so far so good. It hasn't come off yet so we'll see. Once I make sure this is good I'll probably start building a uh, custom exhaust for this thing because the stock one's alright but it would just be nice to have something other than this like box exhaust. You get a few more horsepower out of this thing. But so far so good. So we'll do some more updates when I change something. Oh, I gotta touch up some of the paint here and there but it's a go-kart, not a show car, so I don't really care much how it looks. And it is fun to ride around in, so uh, maybe we'll slap the camera to it and go for a ride real quick here. <laughs> 